What's up guys, hanging out in the fish room. Uh, I've been super busy lately, and the reason is because I'm totally renovating my shop outside of my house and turning it into a full-fledged aquarium store slash selling hub, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna start uh, bringing fish in, sell them locally, ship them, etc. I'm I've decided to just go completely full throttle at this because it's just, uh, this stuff's my life and, um, but yeah, today's video is actually another video on peacock bass. Some of you guys gave me a hard time uh, on my other channel about not going through the specifics on what a person would do as far as taking care of peacock bass. And um, I have some really cool footage I'm going to show you uh, from some of the fish keepers over at Peacock Bass Keepers, the Facebook group. So I wanna give a huge shout out to those guys for letting me uh, use their videos. I can't make cool videos. I can't make cool videos without cool videos of the fish and yeah so um let's flip the cam and i'm going to talk about some specifics as far as taking care of peacock bass uh guys these things get huge this isn't like newbie fish keeping if you're new these are huge predator fish cichlids they're they're just awesome fish but the reason i don't have them is because i don't have a 300 gallon tank in the fish room here and I'm excited to get out in the shop there where I can get some huge massive tanks. I have the custom 500 gallon plywood tank going and I just picked up a acrylic 450 gallon. So, and I have my eye on a 1200 gallon acrylic tank for sale. Um, there's a lot to come guys as far as me uh, blowing up the channel here with a lot of cool videos. I'm in the process of just renovating my entire shop um, but yeah, let's talk about peacock bass. I'm gonna flip the cam here, or uh, not flip it, but sh uh, show you guys some cooler footage other than my face. I gotta say, every time I go to the fish store and I see a peacock bass as a juvenile in a tank for sale, I, I swear to God to you, I almost pull the trigger every single time. I think these big predator fish like this just kind of like, they entice people and you just know that they are a complete monster and you just wanna you just wanna watch it be raised. And I think that's why so many people love big predator fish like this. Even though it kinda it, it's a tough one because they need such big tanks, so much filtration, and some of us just don't have the means to have a 300 gallon tank or we plan on upgrading. And that's why I'm not gonna preach in this video about uh, I, you guys all know these are huge predator fish and they need massive tanks. Um, some of the smaller species of peacock bass uh, in the genus family, uh, they're still going to grow a minimum of like 20 inches and it's very common to see them grow larger than that. So guys, you need a massive tank. We're talking 300 plus gallons. Some people do 220s. I, I, I just think you need more than that. But um, as far as feeding, these guys are predator cichlids, so a heavy protein rich diet. You're gonna have a lot of work keeping up with live foods like worms, uh, crickets. What I feed my, you know, it's a lot of work with predator cichlids, I'll be honest. Like, th you gotta find some live foods, cut up uh, frozen tilapia, uh, crickets, grasshoppers, frogs, just, you know, variation is key. And what we're trying to do here is just replicate natural habitat. So, and that's kind of tough to do if you live, you know, like maybe you go to the bait store and buy some worms and uh, you got to clean the worms because they're full of dirt. And you don't want to destroy your tank when you drop them in. I'm just letting you know, it's a lot of work keeping up with predator cichlids like this. So not only do you need a huge tank, uh, feeding them is going to take some work. Uh, I would get a carnivore staple uh, large cichlid pellet, but it's still, uh, you know, f f live food is going to be the best, guys. And as far as filtration, just get the best filtration you can get your hands on. Uh, as you can see here, the striking power of these fish is ridiculous. He just slow mowed that. And it's hard not to love these bass. They're really similar to largemouth, but... They're so much brighter in coloration and it just makes for such a beautiful fish. So I've been obsessed with peacock bass forever. I have a dream that when I start my fish room out in my shop that I'm going to have some peacock bass, some rays in a massive tank. I think that's all our dream. 
Um, here's some juveniles. These things look beautiful as juveniles too. Like they just look super healthy because they're such hardy fish. Bass are so hardy with water parameters, feeding, and it's just, it makes life so much easier when taking care of a fish when, it, when it's that hardy. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why I personally keep cichlids. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have a peacock bass. If you want to send me some pics, um, add me on Facebook. If you go to my YouTube profile, there will be a link to my personal Facebook. You can, these tanks here, like this looks like maybe a, a 180 or something, but I'm guessing this is 300 plus gallons because a lot of these tanks in video just don't do justice. And those are massive, massive fish. I, I'd probably guess this is an 800 gallon because those are huge, huge fish. And they look, the, the fish make the tank look small because they're so massive themselves. So some super cool footage here. Um, there's, uh, there's a Peacock Bass Keepers Facebook group. If you're interested, you can join up. Um, hit up the description box if you want to add me on Facebook. Or I'll throw a bunch of links in there to my personal Facebook. Or if you want to um, check out more vids, my channel, etc. So, yeah, yeah.